I am in preparation from Everest Aspiration by Sri Chinmoy. I am in preparation. I am in preparation for a new dawn, a new morning, and a new day. I shall consciously and forcefully bury my past experiences, experiences of failure, experiences of frustration, experiences of unworthiness. I shall bury them. I shall obliterate from my memory tablet all the uncomely experiences, the unillumining experiences that I have had so far in my life. I am in preparation for an ever new life. I know why I have failed, why I have disappointed my beloved Supreme. I have failed because I have neglected my second life. I have wasted my minute life. I have ignored my hour life. From now on, in each second life of mine, I shall see a reality existence of 10 years. In each minute life of mine, I shall see a reality existence of 40 years. And in each hour life, I shall see a reality existence of a hundred years, countless years. Each time I do not properly use my second life, minute life and hour life, I shall make myself feel that I am far, farther, farthest from my destined goal. And each time I properly use my second life, minute life and hour life, I shall undoubtedly make myself feel that my hour of God-realization is fast approaching. I shall not have to force myself to feel this. It will be something spontaneous and automatic. I shall no longer ply my boat between hope evening and frustration night. I shall ply my boat only between promise light and satisfaction delight. Because of my bondage life, because of my desire life, because of my finite life, I have failed my beloved Supreme. I have failed my reality existence. And I shall continue to fail my beloved Supreme and my reality existence. If I go on loving the finite in myself. But if I start loving only the infinite in myself then I shall not be compelled to see the face of frustration, the face of failure. I shall only fly in the sky with my eternity's beloved supreme, my soul bird. I shall remain inside the golden boat of my eternity's pilot supreme, sailing, sailing towards an unhorizoned divinity land and immortality shore.
my new life will be a life of life transcending and God inviting smile. My old life gave me what it had, fear of God, fear of desire, fear in desire. My new life gives me the message of love of God and the fulfillment of God in God's own way. I am preparing for God to become his supremely chosen instrument, him to love, him to please, him to fulfill always and always in his own way.